everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I'm whispering because it's 3 o'clock in the morning. We're about to go chase some deers. But this is an exciting day. We've got a hunt booked to go after some fallow deer. Check out our gear here real quick. Everybody's going to ask, what rifle is he taking? I'm taking my CMMG Endeavor. This is in 308. Super quick gear check. I've got a right on scope on top, velocity precision trigger, and we're going to be blasting some Norma Bond Strike 308. And you might be asking, why did he pick this one? Well, number one, it's my favorite rifle, so that's the one I'm picking for this hunting trip. But two, I'm super confident in this rifle, which if you're going hunting, you got to be confident in your rifle. At 100 yards, we're getting just about same hole groups. I also did a video on this setup shooting a thousand yards um, quite easily. So, literally, with this setup, we shot a thousand yards scope, rifle, ammo, everything. So, I'm confident 100% in this setup, but let's get ready to go. We're going to meet up at the lodge, have some breakfast and then get in the woods and chase some deers but we're gonna go get set up load up the truck and hit the road all right so we've been on the road for about an hour here we got about another hour left but if you've never seen a fallow deer let me pop up a little picture here that's what a fallow deer looks like that's what we're after today but the place we're going to is called spartan hunting preserve and from the pictures I've seen, they have got some monsters, like trophy level animals out there. So we're super excited, hoping to slap a trophy sized fallow deer with that CMMG 308 today. But stay tuned, like I said, we got about another hour of driving. We're gonna get us some breakfast at the lodge and then get out in the woods and see if we can find something, but stay tuned. It took us two hours to get there. Right when we got there, it was like immediately jaw-dropping. Step in the front door and the main room of the lodge is just filled wall to wall with incredible trophies. Now let me show you guys just a little bit of what they have in that main room quick, but just taking a look in that room, would have made the trip for me. They have some awesome animals in there, but right when we got there off the bat, we talked to Liko, incredible guy. He was our guide out there, and he was kind of filling us in. You know, he said, have you ever hunted fallow deer? I said, I have no clue about fallow deer. He was filling us in. Well, it's kind of like whitetail where you can age them, and here's how you tell if it's a three-year-old, a four-year-old, even older than that and educating me on that and kind of getting a feel of what we were wanting to see, hoping to see, that sort of thing, taking care of some paperwork. And then he said, are you guys ready to hit the woods? And I said, absolutely, yes. So check it in, let's get to the footage. This first clip here is gonna be us walking and creeping in through the woods on the way to our stand here, check it out. Before we even got to the woods, our guide said, go ahead and get ready. There's a chance on our creep into the woods, if there's enough light, we might just come up on a monster buck. And we did come up on a buck. Just before we got to the stand where we were planning on sitting, there was a buck. And you'll see here in this short clip here, our guide, Liko, he was glassing them. And he said, man, that's a four-year-old deer. That's a mature deer. You can shoot that deer, but there's bigger deer out here. 
And that was literally like right when we got into the woods, pretty much. So we said, okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll hold off on this one. We'll let that guy go. And then we got into the stand. All right. We eased him here to the stand, following our guide. He's a class act. Gave us a whole bunch of information on fallow deer. I don't, like I said earlier, I've never hunted fallow deer, but he gave us a whole bunch of awesome info and snuck us in here to the stand. We actually saw several fallow deer just walking in. Oh, there's definitely deer in here close. A couple does, a couple small ones. Saw a smaller buck, but probably could have shot that buck, but we're gonna sit here this morning and see if we can get some of the bigger fallow bucks to come by. Keep your fingers crossed. If we see one, we're gonna pop him with the CMMG and some of those blue tip monstrike bullets we got in there. But I shouldn't have taken that out, making a bunch of noise, but we're gonna keep our eyes peeled out here. It's some real pretty country out here in Tennessee. And see if we can get some of these fallow bucks to come in. So after the fact, I was glad we let that first buck we saw walking in go because once you know it, here comes some big old monsters. Our guide, he, he said, Psst. look, he said, there's two monsters. They're headed this way, big mature deer. And we had previously talked that I like the funky deer, the non-typical type stuff. He said there's two big bucks. One of them has a pretty good matching set of big old palms up. But the second one that's following him, he's got one big old palm on one side, but he has the other side that's all kind of funky and gnarly. And I was like, oh yeah, that's the one I want. So check out this footage here of these bucks rolling in on us. At this point, my blood is pumping. My heart is going 100 miles an hour. We're getting lined up on this buck. Incredible, incredible deer. We got these two monster bucks and I'm about to get lined up for the shot. And here's what happens. I'll roll it in here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. A click. A uh, click. We've got everything set up. I could not have even dreamed this perfect, big old nasty buck coming in. Click. But it wasn't the gun's fault. It wasn't the ammo's fault. When we were walking in the woods and he had told me to go ahead and load one, I let the bolt down real easy 
and I didn't close the bolt all the way instead of slamming it shut and letting the bolt close all the way. So my trigger went off and that buck, whoosh, he looked right up at us and I was like, froze. So then I'm debating. And these bucks are right out here. One of them just looked up, heard that click sound. Can we slam it, slam the bolt back down, close it like you're supposed to and try to pull this shot off? And that's what we did here, you know. If you don't, then you don't have a rifle to shoot, right? So we said, let's slam that sucker and just roll with it. And that's what we did. Check it out. That's gonna work. Okay, the bolt was closed all the way. That's a beautiful fallow deer. Alright, well, we weren't in the stand too long. Our guide had us out here at an awesome spot. And, uh, we just smoked a big fallow deer. I took the shot while he was walking slow. I was aiming for right behind the shoulder. We'll see where I actually hit him, but the, uh, the 308 smoked him. He went maybe. 10, 15 yards and then fell over, but let's go, uh, let's go walk up to him. No tracking job here. So, this is a beautiful fallow deer. This deer is even bigger and more beautiful than I expected. I was saying earlier that I really like the funky stuff. And our guide out here spotted this guy. He's got this cool, normal looking palm over here, but then he's got this funky, ugly stuff over here and even a kicker brow tine here. Now, this is a beautiful deer, even more awesome than I had imagined but like I said he came in that 308 smoked him and I couldn't have dreamed that up any better than it went down but super super awesome fallow deer on the ground I can't wait to have this guy on the wall but out here with Spartan hunting preserve they've got some awesome awesome beautiful animals out here super super sweet I was just saying a second ago I couldn't even remember if we had filmed the deer yet because I'm so excited but y'all know me or y'all know me deer hunting is my thing I absolutely love the deer but beautiful deer I love the antlers and the color of this one and like I said I love he's got this ugly funky stuff on him too but we're gonna go get him loaded up and take them back to the lodge and we'll give y'all another up close look at them. But beautiful, beautiful fallow deer out here.
incredible, incredible hunt. I cannot wait to get that mount back from the taxidermist and hang it up on the wall and I'll do another video and absolutely show you guys that fallow deer after we've got it back from the taxidermist. I cannot thank the guys at Spartan Hunting Preserve enough. Incredible, incredible group of folks out there. They treated us like we were family. Mitch, incredible dude. Had great conversation with him. My kind of people, my kind of folks. They literally treated us like we were family from the time we got there to the time we left. Our guide, Lico, same thing. Treated us like we were family. He gave me the quick rundown. Tons of information on fallow deer. Like I said, I didn't know anything about fallow deer. He educated me on here's how you tell how old it is and look for this and different colors of fallow deer and all kinds of awesome information that, hey, he didn't have to tell me. And I wasn't even expecting that, but they completely educated us on tons of things. And you had better believe it, we are gonna be going back there. So stay tuned for more videos. We're getting into hunting season. We've got our first one down on the ground. Stay tuned for a whole lot more to come. My first time ever hunting with a semi-auto. Like I said again, this is my CMMG 308. Absolutely confident in this rifle. You guys saw there in the footage, 100% smacked that big buck and had him on the ground. But this is absolutely a precision rifle that I am 100% confident in. And it did its job out there in the hunting woods. And I couldn't be happier. But appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for more videos. And again, big thanks to the folks out there at the Spartan Hunting Preserve. I kind of don't want to tell you guys about where I shot it because then that lowers the chance of me getting in another hunt sooner because y'all are going to book all the hunts. But appreciate y'all watching. Wanted to share this video with you guys. Y'all know hunting is my passion. I love making tons of videos. Hunting is absolutely my passion and I love sharing it with other people. But appreciate y'all watching as always. Comment down below. Always love to read and hear you guys hunting stories. We'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.